Hello, you wonderful people on YouTube. Today, I wanna invite you to participate in a build in public project I'm doing here with my friend Silas. If you're stuck in tutorial hell and you just wanna do or build something cool for your portfolio with your friends in a community, this is the video for you. Now, hopefully when you're watching this, this event is still going on, but if the event already passed, most likely when you go to this GitHub, you're going to see that the project is done. So at that point, you'll be more than welcome to clone it, play around with it, and most likely we're probably doing another build in public project on this channel because the main goal, I wanna involve all of you boys and girls to build something instead of being stuck in tutorial hell. So I will most likely have monthly building projects that you could jump in and do. For this particular project, we're building an events website. We're using Next.js and Strapi for our backend. So today's video, number one, I'm gonna tell you, check out the first stream, check out the project on GitHub. I'll put all the links in the description. But if you're wanting to follow along and you have questions, today I'm gonna show you how to set up Next.js and Strapi together in the same project and actually get some data. So by the end of this video, you're going to have a functional front end functional backend that you could use as a starting point to build your project. So let's get right into it. I'm going to make sure to share this repo in the description below, but you can find it at github.com paulbraslavsky slash nextjs dash build dash in dash public. And this is our starting project. And depending where you're watching this video, you might see some additional changes, but no worries, feel free to take a look and fork it and start building along with us. For now, we currently set up our backend, which is our strappy application. And then we also set up our frontend, which is our Next.js application. And in today's video, I'm gonna walk you to the steps of how to set up this project. So if you have any questions, you could just review this video here. I'm going to show you how to get started with Next.js. It's super, super simple. We go to nextjs.org and we're going to see this command, npx create next app at latest. So we're going to copy it and in my terminal, make sure that you're using the latest node here I'm using version 18, and I mean long-term support latest node. I know node 20 is out, but I'm gonna stick with the long-term support version. And once you have the right node installed, I'm gonna run clear so we could clearly see, and I'm gonna run npx create next app at latest. So let's walk through the options. Because we're going to build two projects in this directory, we're going to build our front end with Next.js and our back end with Strapi Headless CMS. Let's go ahead and call this front end. Yes, we would like to use TypeScript, so click Enter. Would you like to use ESLint? No, thank you. Would you like to use Tailwind? Yes, for Tailwind. And would you like to use Source Directory? Why not? And yes, you definitely want to use our app router folder because we are using Next 13. Do we want to import alias? Click No. And here it's going to go ahead and generate your project. Once some project is done, we could CD into our front end and we could run it by running yarn dev. And this is how easy this was for us to start our first project. And we take a look, here's our project running locally. So now that we have next running, let's go ahead and install Strapi. Strapi is a headless CMS that allows you to create APIs really fast. And what's awesome, it gives you this beautiful admin where you have role-based access control, authentication out of the box, and other cool features that allow you to focus less on building your app from scratch, but getting started building something cool for your clients. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to look at our documentation on their quick start. Here we will see all the requirements that we need. We're using Node 18, so this is wonderful. Let's go ahead and copy npx create strappy app at latest and use it in my terminal. I'm gonna stop the server for now. I'm gonna CD out of my front end and we're going to run npx create strappy app at latest and we're going to call this back end. We're going to say custom because we want to use TypeScript for this project and we are going to use SQLite which is perfect for what we're doing. When it comes time to deploy your application, we'll be able to choose a different database. So let's wait for this to finish. Now that our application is Done installing, we could go ahead, run yarn build, and then yarn develop to start a project. So I'm going to do this now, yarn build. And because I'm on the Mac, I could run the second command by using ampersand yarn develop. And if you see this error, it's because you forgot to CD into your folder like I did. So let's try it one more time, yarn build and 
yarn develop and this is going to go ahead build our app and start it for us where we'll be able to create our first admin user now that our application is running go ahead create your first admin user i'm going to say paul brats paul at strappy.io password monkey one two three four perfectly good password monkey one two three four and click let's start perfect we just finished setting up our back end for our front end application feel free to play around with this app but we'll talk more about all the different items and menus here that we have and if you want to see a crash course in strappy i'll make sure to link to a video here above but now we could go to our content type builder where we could create our first collection type, which is a way to represent items that you're going to have a lot of like pages, products, to do's, whatever you want. So for this, we're going to create a new collection. And because our website is going to be creating and managing events, we're going to call it event. We're going to click continue and our event is going to have a title and add another field. And we're going to have a UI ID for that we're going to call a slug, which is going to correlate to our title. So no two events could be named the same thing. And we're gonna click finish and save. So we created our basic event, and of course we could add more data, but the most important part is for us to be able to connect our front end with our back end to make sure that everything works. Actually, I have a great idea. Let's take a look at our Next.js project and notice how we have these little cards. So maybe we're going to see if we could recreate these cards dynamically. So let's say this is going to be the title and this is going to be our text here. So let's add one more element here and we're going to call text long text and it's going to be our description. So we take a look how to make something useful. So we'll click finish, save, and now let's create our few first events first event this is our cool event save and publish let's create one more event create new event second event i know i'm very original with our names best second event and save and publish so now we have two events that we created so how do we get access to these events so in strapi you could go to settings under user permissions, under roles, you could give access to the endpoints you want to access because you want everybody to see all our events publicly accessible, meaning that they don't need to log in. We're gonna go under public and click events and we're going to click find one and find. And here you could see which endpoint we have to hit in order to see our events. I'm gonna save and we're gonna test this with Insomnia. Now I'm gonna make a get request to my local host at API slash events. And as you could see, we could see our items here. I do have a third item here because I did add it off screen, but all you need to know is that we have a working API that we could now use to power our front end application. So this video is getting a bit longer. So we're going to stop this here. And just a reminder, we are doing this event build in public where we're building this events website together. You could check out the link in the description to participate. And I'm going to continue make these daily videos of guiding you through the process through the steps of where we are so you could participate with us but feel free to make pull requests add issues or comments in the repo below with that being said in the next video i'm going to show you how to get data from your strapi application to your next js application but with that being said thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video